Well, new on 11 at 11, a cemetery battling financial troubles locked up tonight. Families with loved ones buried there are just livid about this. Everybody's going like this. It's not my problem. It's not well, whose problem is it? Well, family members stormed into the Homestead Cemetery in Mun Hall anyway. Channel 11's Joe Holden live now. Joe, they just want to be able to pay their respects and keep the place clean. Hey, Joe, and I just checked on the online filing system for bankruptcy court for the Western District of Pennsylvania. There is no bankruptcy filing for Homestead Cemetery, at least not yet. But that doesn't mean the close signs aren't up. And take a look at this padlock on this fence. People here, though, who wanted to visit their loved ones earlier tonight, they took matters into their own hands. A parade on Memorial Day was the first time people like Mary Camus heard Homestead Cemetery could be bankrupt. Her son is buried here. He uh, chose where he wanted to be. He picked that spot. They found locks and closed signs on Wednesday, warning they're no longer welcome. Our loved ones are in here. You know, how can they just lock this up, you know? 24 years ago, Dixie Siegworth buried her husband at Homestead. She visits weekly. Are those locks going to stop you? Not me. Like the others, she maintains the plot, cutting the grass. Before long, a small crowd of protesters began to grow. I didn't know your son was in there. I'm sorry. We found more people at the main gate. I buried my mother here nine months ago. Sandy Wolf is distraught at the situation. I can't even put a headstone on her grave. This is craziness. Through the emotion, two ladies appeared on the other side of the gate. Did you think anything about breaking through this uh, chain? Well, we went down and asked. Marjorie, with the weed whacker over her shoulder, says police allowed them in. Open the cemetery! After some chanting, a couple dozen people broke that chain. We caught up with Dixie at the family grave. Now, my mother was just buried there last year right by my husband, and they're not keeping me out of here. It's not right. I've paid for these plots. So one of the biggest questions at this point, what if a grave owner has to bury a loved one here? No question as to how that would be accommodated tonight with this bankruptcy thing going on. We also reached out to the Cemetery Association president multiple times. We did not hear back. We also checked in at the Munhall Police Department. Officers said they were largely unaware of any concern or commotion happening here at the cemetery. Of course, it's a story we'll keep you posted on. Live in Munhall tonight, Joe Holden, Channel 11 News.